Violence, a topic that's gripped the valley for months. We've covered tragedy, the push for answers, and the effort to make some change. New at 10, we're following up as the Gilbert Town Council hears recommendations from a subcommittee dedicated to finding solutions. ABC 15's Ashley Holden has covered this story from the beginning and has more for us tonight. In Gilbert Tuesday night, teen violence is still a concern shared by community members. As the community moves forward, it is clear that more needs to be done and that leadership needs to step up so that our community can heal. Some calling for swift communication and investigations from Gilbert police. Also more presence and action at areas, including one of the downtown Gilbert parking garages. Where are the police? Why is the Gilbert garage not being monitored? Others wanting answers when it comes to the group known as the Gilbert goons. Expediency is needed. Gilbert police leading that multi-agency investigation to determine if the group can be classified as a criminal street gang. The Gilbert police chief saying that investigation could come to a close soon. Because it is an active investigation, I'm unable to say anything further at this time other than we have made significant progress and I anticipate the investi investigation concluding very soon. Community members also called for quick action from the council. Tuesday after months of meetings and ideas, Gilbert's teen violence subcommittee presenting their recommendations. I felt that there were some actions or direction that could be given from the council today so that um, we could move some of these items forward quickly. The most immediate items, expanding liaison responsibilities with school districts, budgeting to add a police officer for community youth engagement, and looking at ordinance changes when it comes to potentially banning brass knuckles for juveniles, and also addressing parenting responsibility. But the council wanting to pass some of the recommendations onto a community engagement task force. With an initial meeting in June 2024, after the application process has been concluded. The council wants the task force to include 11 members and no less than four Gilbert High School teens. But some people that walked out of Tuesday's meeting, they told us that there are kids in the community that are still scared. They called what happened tonight and the discussion disappointing. They wanted more immediate action. Now, the council only providing direction tonight. And within the last 30 minutes, that meeting ended. And we were able to talk to council member Chuck Bongiovanni about some of the community's concerns. I think time will tell. I, I have full confidence in the task force to move forward with this. And we're still doing a lot of things also, uh, in relationship to the schools and those kinds of things. So, you know, we'll have to just see what happens as we move forward. But I feel very confident with the speed we're going to take in. The task force is going to get to the details. You know, we just got the information from the citizens and reacted to that. So this is where the real work is going to be getting done now. And council member Bon Giovanni telling us that they hope to take action on some of the things that they discussed as early as next month. As you guys mentioned, we've been following this from the beginning and we're going to continue to follow this. For now, live in Gilbert, Ashley Holton, ABC 15, Arizona. Ashley, thank you.